Contadora this morning. It's uh, Sunday, June the 6th, D-Day anniversary. We're on our way to Pedro Gonzalez this morning. 6 a.m. It's 13 and a half miles southwest of us. Probably motor most of the way. We're leaving early because we have a very strong following current, which can make the difference of about three knots to us. Yeah. That's where we are now. That's where we're going. Ila Pedro Gonzalez. Coffee on the fly bridge, Andrew? We pretty well anchored at low tide and the tide is coming in now. So we were 6.8 meters. It should go up at least two meters. Close enough to the beach for me. I don't get eaten by bugs. The boat already has flies in it. Hmm. I'm just taking out all our fenders and putting them out. Let's go see what he's up to over here. What's happening there? Ah! There he is! I am going to attempt to fix our shower pump switch. Our shower's in the locker? Forward locker? Well, I found an access for it right down here by my left foot. Oh, yeah? Okay, hang on. There's the access right there where my toe is. Oh, how come there's water in the bottom? Probably came off of the bumpers. Oh. And see, you dripped in there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a little bit of water. That's not nice. Look at how wet it is. See, you tripped again. Yeah, I know, but I'm not filling that up. And that's our other, and this is our other anchor that we call our baby mantis, or baby rockna. It doesn't have the curve of a rockna or a mantis there, but it sure works really well. Yeah, I, we, we um, ran into somebody, Filippo, who we gave water to the other day. He knows what the name of this anchor is. It's from Germany, which makes sense because the fo former owner of this boat was from Germany. Yeah, this works really well. It's a little small yes. for this boat, but we could use it for a stern anchor or something if we needed to. Yep. 11.25 and sailing vessel Rhapsody has arrived. Now they're talking about the depths. Oh, I think we have some rain stacking up. That's going to hit us pretty soon. Of course can't have a full day without rain. Andrew's made little piddly piddly dirty footprints along the deck. Like a dog coming in from the wet. So what did you find out Andrew? I helped you put that button back on. Uh, I don't think the fault is in the switch. Not in the switch. It seems to be working now when I pushed it. Sometimes just wiggling stuff around will make it work again. Time will tell. Time to put the fenders away. Before it rains, I guess. There's Andrew Schiller water bike pontoon. The seams are coming undone, so it leaks. It's flat now. Hey Schiller, what are we gonna do about this? What do you can you send us a new pontoon? Sarah and I meet halfway to go for a swim. <laughs> that night we have a crazy lightning storm. The next morning Andrew tries to go rescue an upside down porcupine fish but we cannot save him. Stand down comes picks me up and we go for a dinghy tour. Good morning, another beautiful morning in the Pearl Islands of Panama. A very quiet, calm night here last night. Pearl Island Anchorage already. One of these little fish boats are here this morning. And it's about 
5.30 a.m. Sleepy Sailing Vessel Rhapsody. And the tide should be going out. And we're going to swim right over there this morning. And there's a, that beautiful beach that I showed you on the other side when we went in the dinghy ride. So we're going to swim over there and walk on the beach. Sunrise on stand down. All right, we swam to the other side. Now we're going to walk around. Just found some agates on the beach. Very cool. Here's some agates. There's two that we found. So cool. I need my rock tumbler. barnacles being formed because they're in the little pools on the rocks. Here's one here. <laughs> Another one here. And there's a few of these. Really cool. Look like sesame seeds. Okay, we're at Pearl Island Anchorage. And it's Sunday today. Panama has a total lockdown on Sunday. You're not allowed to leave your home. And... <laughs> I got in trouble from the Aero Navelle on a Sunday just from snorkeling. They told me to get back from our boat, but look at all these people out here. Got people on the beach over here. Boats. Boats here. People on the beaches. The president still says, like you in my la on our last video, I told you we're still not allowed on the beaches. Dinghies whipping all over here from probably from this hotel on this end of the bay. So you tell me why the Aero Novell whistles at me when I'm swimming in the ocean and tells me to go back to my boat. And you have all this happening on a Sunday. Why am I not allowed to swim in the ocean and snorkel? As of today, only two days after Panama opened up, they are back to their strict lockdown. I can only go to shore at 4 o'clock and the dinghy dock closes at 4, so I will not be able to go to shore. I missed it again. I just wanted to tell you that video I took of all the boats in the anchorage. Uh, they didn't get in trouble, but this morning, Somebody in one of these sailboats that are anchored here took their dog to shore and the authorities came and told them to get back to their boat. So get that. Us cruisers are not allowed to shore when nobody should be allowed to shore, but yet they're only poo-pooing us. Go figure. That's okay. We're on stand down right now with Nancy and Rich. Hi. Here we are in stand down. I think some, the guys wanted to jump off the top deck. I want to get pictures. <laughs> All right, here goes Bob. Woo See, I have to make the sound effect. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! Sarah! Woo! My feet fell over my head. Here goes Sarah. Who else is going now? Oh, I could do that again better. One, two, three. Woo! See? Oh, look what's on Sundowner's motor of their dinghy. Not Sundowner's, <laughs> Stand Down. <laughs> We're having Sundowner's on Stand Down. Oh, look at them. Woo! Okay, I'm already wooing again, see? Oh, I have to be close enough, though. I'm, I'm wearing white. I should glow. 